Dave from Deltona. Dave, you're on News 96.5. Go ahead. Hey, Tom. Uh, I've been listening for about 10 years, and I, I do appreciate your show. Hey, I'm a, I'm a retiree with a paid-for house, and with the uh, current uh, lien scam environment, uh, I tried to check with my title company to see what kind of protection I, I had or All could right. get, and, and they're out of business. So. Uh-oh. I don't know what uh, how to proceed, and then uh, it seems like title companies have evaporated. I don't know if you provide that service of constant title searches or, or what the deal is. Well, Dave, first of all, I do have a title company. It's called Edgewater Title Company, and we would be happy to be of service to you or anybody else who's buying or selling property. Now, okay. Dave, your the physical office of the title company that you may have closed your transaction at, they may be out of business, but they write through an underwriter like First American Title or the fund. And those companies are still around. So do not be concerned, Dave. There is still an insurance company that's going to protect you for any losses. Now, Dave, they gave you title insurance that covered you up through the moment of closing. If anything has happened since the moment of closing, they would not be responsible for that. So, Dave, when you talk about um, real estate title lien scams, tell me what you're concerned about. Uh, Just somebody putting a phony lien on the house that I'm not aware of because nobody, you know, who would check that or how would you know? And then, and then getting foreclosure notices or, or some, some kind of scam they dream okay. up. I don't, I don't know. So Dave, um, I'm in the real estate business and this is not something that I'm hearing about or have a concern about Dave. Now, if somebody put a lien against your property, if it's a valid lien, first of all, they have to give you a copy of it, give you notice of it. You have an opportunity to object to it. Generally, we're talking about a construction lien. But otherwise, you would find out about this lien when you go to sell it down the road. And at that moment in time, you would look at this lien and say, hey, that's a scam. And the title company more than likely could ignore it. There are some people out there that are doing scam liens, but they're really just trying to punish people. So there are people that have been upset about the law and the court system and the judge, and they're, you know, they're picking out names of lawyers and picking out names of judges. They're preparing what appear to be very official-looking liens, I mean professionally done, but at the end of the day, they carry no weight, and often a title company would simply ignore those false liens, Dave. So all in all, I'm not very concerned about your situation, but Dave, if it's important to you, yes, we could do a title search for you. Okay, and what's the title company phone number? The same as your 5561 number? Yeah, if you call that number, you'll reach our title company. It's Edgewater Title Company, Dave. Okay. Hey, thank you very much, Tom. All right, Dave. Thank you for being a loyal listener for 10 years now. We appreciate it. (laughs) 